Hello everybody, welcome to Miss with PJ. Today's date, December 15, 2016. Our word for discussion is uh, dainties. In Job 3320, so that his life abhors bread and his soul dainty meat. In Psalms 127.4, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. Proverbs 23.6, Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. Daniel 1.8 But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might be not defile himself. In Luke twenty one thirty four and take heed to yourselves lest to any time your hearts be overcharged with sufficient in drunkenness and cares of life and so that day come upon unawares. Revelations eighteen fourteen and the fruits of the soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which are dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Define, this is a delicate beauty, exquisite, pleasing to taste, often tempting, served, and uh, delicious. The beauty of God's glory is above, what we can comprehend. Don't eat of the bread of evil, but enjoy truth which is pleasing to and serves God. Let not your heart be one of lust, drunkenness, contempt, but one of that pleases God. Where dainty and goodly are departed from thee, thou shalt find no more at all. Sometimes sin may seem delicious, but it is contrary to God's teachings. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.